Hey, welcome back. We're the Kanpai guys. Welcome to our 50th episode. We've Kanpai'd 50 times, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. But pace yourself. Today, we have a very special episode. We are looking at the Suntory White Whiskey. This is the very first whiskey ever produced by Suntory in 1929. Wow. It even seems to predate the Suntory Red. That's right. The Suntory White and Suntory Red are considered brother-sister products, but the White was the very first. We've already tried the Red out on the show, but let's see what the White has up its sleeve. I'm excited. So, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe, and uh, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want updates when we go live or release new videos, please hit the bell notification icon. So Alex, this is the original whiskey made by Sontori, but I have never seen this in a supermarket. Yeah, these days it's not so common in stores. Um, I've only come across this bottle in one place, a store called Direx, which Direx. is kind of a, what would you consider that store? A drugstore had a baby with a supermarket and they just sell random products. And it almost has like a, it has kind of a weird smell, that store. It's kind of a discount store too, right? It smells a little bit like Costco, a store that just amasses very budget products. They do have quite an impressive alcohol section, that store. Yeah, so they do. You do, find, you do find quite unusual things there. And this whiskey is the first whiskey made by Suntory. Just a little info from the Suntory website. Shinjiro Tori who started making Japan's first whiskey in 1923, released the Suntory White in 1929 as the first domestic whiskey. Initially, the brand name was only Suntory Whiskey, but it came to be called Suntory White after the war due to it being loved by whiskey connoisseurs. For this reason, the name was changed to the current White from 1964. So initially, this was just called Suntory Whiskey. Because it was the only whiskey they made? Right, yes. exactly. And then, you know, over the years, they started releasing more whiskey products. Do you have any expectations for this? It's it's a budget whiskey, isn't it? It's only about 1,000 yen a bottle in Japan. So This bottle cost about 1,100 yen. So what's interesting is, these days, Suntory does not really advertise this whiskey at all. <laughs> in the 1970s and 1980s. They, they really pushed this. Some Sammy Javis Jr. You know, he's the rat bat guy. You know, he's the rat bat guy. You know, he's the rat bat guy. No, he's the rat bat guy. No, he's the rat bat guy. Oh, lat the back. <laughs> lat pack. That's right, the rat pack guy. <laughs> and the lat pack. Lat pack, you know lat pack? Rat, rat pack? Rat pack, oh, this piece. Some uh, Ray Charles. I don't get that close to the glass until I'm on the floor. Yeah, and some big names really pushing this whiskey. Ray Charles. That's, yeah. Yeah. Officially, Suntory recommends the Suntory White to be served on the rocks. 
on the rocks. Yeah. Oops. But what's what's interesting is, in some of their old TV commercials from the 1980s, for a time they were pushing this whiskey to be served hot. Hot. Like hot whiskey. Like stick it in the microwave. I guess like mix it with some boiled water. Mix it with hot water. Yeah. Like a hot putty. Hot putty. Hot putty. What's a hot putty? A hot putty is just whiskey mixed with hot water. When you have a cold in the UK, you drink it and it clears out all the stuff, stuff in your head. It just melts out. It's uh, either for people who can't afford to buy real medicine or, <laughs> <laughs> or when they're sick, just don't want to lay off the booze, I guess. Next time you get a cold. Yeah, those fumes can really clear you out. They can. Try it out. You know, companies like Santori do really have the Scottish influence right. <clears throat> in their product. This original uh, inventor, Tori San, went to Scotland, right, to uh, study whiskey making. That's right, yeah. So he probably got it there. So today <laughs> we'll be trying this whiskey out neat and on the rocks. All right, so first up is neat. Do we have any uh, nose? Impressions or notes from online. Any knows? Uh, who knows? I knows. I knows. So we do have some tasting notes that we found online. So we're going to compare our impression to another whiskey reviewers to see how we are similar and how we differ. Let's smell it ourselves first. Okay. Then read it. Because okay. we're always heavily influenced by these dudes online. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like they say like burnt car tires and then we're like oh yeah i got that <laughs> <laughs> in first. So stick our nose in instead of letting them stick their nose in Ooh, it's harsh very harsh it's funny you said burnt tire burnt rubber because that's what I'm, this I might be like. a, I might have some psychic psychic abilities here i think <laughs> <laughs> You know, I kind of expected this to be a less refined version of Centauri Red. It smells old school. It does. Like Civil War era whiskey. <laughs> it's like what uh, Will Ferrell would drink in Anchorman or something. It stings the nostrils. Oof. Man. <laughs> Are you getting that burnt rubber though? Yeah. That's all I'm getting to be honest. Is that, that, that burnt rubber. <laughs> I wonder Mr. David Jr. Davis Jr. was enjoying this one so much. <laughs> Do you get any sweetness at all? Since... I feel like I'm getting buzzed just from the fumes, to be honest. Uh, burnt rubber slash shoe store. I think that's why I thought Anchorman, because in Anchorman there's a scene where he says, like, uh, I love the smell of old leather-bound books or something like that. <laughs> I'm getting shoe store. Shoe store? You know how shoe, store has, shoe stores have that very distinct smell to them? Shoe store on fire. Moving on to the... The blogger? Yeah. His tasting notes. Um, appearance. Medium. Gold. Amber. Okay. Yeah. On the nose. Spicy. Fruity. Citrus. Ginger. Caramel. And green apple. Can I agree with any of those? Spicy. Hmm. Maybe like the fruity green apple. Yeah, there's a green apple note. But the most immediate feature is the strong, like ethanol smell to it. So. I feel like if you had like a hazmat suit on or something, you could get like underneath the, the chemical, like methane that's coming off of it. <laughs> then you might be able to get some like delicate smells from this. But if you smell it like quite a far away from your face, you can kind of pick up some other things. Okay. Okay. Very harsh on the palate. I find the palate a l slightly less harsh than the smell. Yeah, I can agree, but they're still up there in harshness. Yeah, this is not a smooth whiskey like Tori's. It's a very intense whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the kind of whiskey that would like put hairs on your chest. Yeah, this will make you a man. <laughs> 
Yeah, definitely like Hobo Vagrant's whiskey flask. It tastes like whiskey, whiskey made in 1926. That hasn't changed. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Something that you would like smuggle in in Prohibition or something. To like, party. like moonshine. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> roaring is in my house is on fire. And the shoe shop's on fire too. <laughs> it's not a terrible taste. It's just very it's harsh. Not. It's just very intense. This is uh, 40% uh, blended whiskey. The one thing I would say is that it tastes better than a 1,000 yen whiskey. I have a good feeling this is going to be better on the rocks. Yeah. Again, th that's how they recommend it. There's something on the palate, though, that I recognize that I just can't put into words. Like a... like a peppermint? Something tingling on the tongue? Yeah. Yeah. Like a tingly peppermint. For me, I feel like some kind of, like, cloves. Yeah, um, okay, okay. Aniseed or something. Yeah. Aniseed. Okay. Like a licorice. There you go, okay. Yeah, more in that world. Mm. Again, referring to the taste notes, they claim the palette has vanilla, oak, malt sugar, apple, and citrus. I do get sweetness. Yeah. For sure. Yep. Particularly in the aftertaste. Yeah. It's like a, almost like a sweet candy syrupy taste yeah. left in your mouth. Like, yeah, okay, like slightly candied. This would be a good, like, winter whiskey. That's why this would probably work as a hot toddy with hot water. Ah, okay. I can see what, they, what they're going for with that, right? Yeah. Warm up in winter. Yeah. Like, hot toddies are pretty much exclusively drunk in winter in the UK. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah, to like, just heat your body up. Mm. You not only have the alcohol, like, heating effect, but you also have the hot water. Um, yeah, very interesting whiskey. It is, yeah. For the finish, hot spirits, a bit of vanilla and oak, pepper, and ginger. I can get the hot spirits. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm never very good at like picking up on like ginger notes, so. And whiskeys particularly. All right, moving on to on the rocks. Shall we give it a sniff? Let's partake. Let's partake. In the uh, scent of Centauri White on ice. Hmm. It's become milder, softer. It's not at the same level of harshness as it was before. Not like like a tea, a tea scent. <laughs> it's much less ethanol-y and it's more more of an earthy smell. It loses the like harsh cinnamon notes that it had initially mm. however the like malt sugar notes are still there i think in, if anything they've been bumped up a little bit yeah it tastes like sweeter now yeah it's now almost like drinking candy <laughs> <laughs> i i wouldn't go that far but it is much sweeter and the harshness is gone mm. it has more personality than mm. Tories as well. I can definitely see why they recommend drinking this on the rocks. Mm. It's obviously the way it's supposed to be. I wouldn't drink this okay. straight. Me neither. Yeah. No. Let's, uh, let's not do that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bad idea. But, but at least it's good to know, like... That's why we do it, so... Yeah. So you don't have to. You don't have to. I would, rec I would recommend this to people who, like... Uh, like brown sugar notes. You think it'd be okay in a highball? Would you drink this in a highball? I mean, I think like if you put this in a highball, it would just probably just taste like most other like whiskeys. I like think it would, it would lose thing. this sweetness. Recently, we've been reading Amazon reviews of whiskeys, gins, basically anything we can find. These are translated from Japanese to English. In the event of a strange translation, we tried to, you know, interpret the translated review and try to get behind the like core meaning of what they're trying to say. 
we use our infinite knowledge of bad Japanese to <laughs> decipher the meaning. Yes. So the first Amazon review gave it five stars. Okay. Wow. It's a fairly lengthy one, so I think he's uh, he's thought about this okay. quite deeply. Good. When I think of Suntory whiskey, the one that immediately comes to mind is Suntory Old. Others are Royal, Reserve, and so on. Nowadays, there are popular products such as Yamazaki and Hakushi. However, when I was a child, I had a strong image of old. Suntory Old. Now this is another product, another whiskey product by Santori, which we have not yet covered on the show. We are planning to. This person is saying that their image of Santori whiskey is that whiskey. He continues. And in the inexpensive category, there are red and police. Among them, white is not so popular. Was a little shadowy or inconspicuous. However, when I was looking for affordable whiskies on Amazon, that's where I get all my affordable whiskies. <laughs> <laughs> I found white. A white caught my eye. I thought to myself, I don't remember drinking much white. You drink much white? It's my first time experiencing the white. I thought to myself, I don't remember drinking much white, but when I looked at it, I found out that it was the first domestic whiskey. I've been drinking whiskey for a long time, but this is the first time I've heard of it. I thought I have no choice. But to drink white whiskey. I felt the same way. <laughs> so I bought it. I heard that it used to be called Shiro Fuda, which I think means white label. I think it's a good whiskey for around 1000 yen. I like the fact that it has the history of being the first domestic whiskey. Uh, Suntory White is the origin of domestic whiskey. Please try it once. Or twice. Or every time. Just, every time. Just, every time you get whiskey, you just go white. <laughs> yeah, pretty good review, I think. So he's uh, really, seems to be really proud of the fact it's the first domestic whiskey. This Suntory White and the Suntory Red are both bottled in like brown glass. Oh, hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Is in brown glass, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It definitely gives it a more old school look, though. Okay, moving on to the second review. So they gave it two stars. Two? Okay. Only two. It was better than I thought for the price, but the stimulation of alcohol intensifies. 640 milliliters and a subtle amount. Over Tories, below old. Higher than Tori's below old, some Tori old. Oh, I see. They're doing a, like a tier system. So they're saying Suntory old is first place, and Suntory white is second place, and Tori's is third place. I think it's a little different direction from the corner. 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 Oh, the kaku. Suntory kaku. A kaku. Yes. So in Japanese, the uh, kanji or kaku also means corner or kado. The taste and aroma are thin. In the case of split in water, mizuwari, cut with water, split in water, you cannot enjoy it unless you have a very dark eye. Very dark eye. What could that mean? Satan's eye. A very dark eye. Blind? You mentioned <laughs> blind, blind man's whiskey earlier. You know, I'm, I have no idea what that's trying to say. If any viewers out there have any thoughts on what that could mean, a, a dark eye. 
please let us know yeah. in the comments below. In that sense, I prefer the corner. <laughs> okay. That one feels like a way more like modern whiskey than this one. Come by scores. Come by scores. Neat. Okay, neat, I'll give it a three. Same. Rock, I much prefer it, so I think I'm gonna go taking price into consideration. Seven. Seven, really? Seven. I'm thinking a six. Mm. I thought you would say six. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a reason why Suntory doesn't market <laughs> this whiskey these days. They don't want to kill Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this style of whiskey is just not popular enough. It's dated. Yeah. It's out of date. It's like Who putting knows? on your, your grandfather's cologne. Trends are circular. Yeah, that's true. So you may live again. Maybe life in here yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well, I hope you stick around. We hope you enjoyed this 50th episode of Come By Guys. Time flies. Also, um, we'd like to know, what do you think about this Suntory White? Would you be interested in trying it? Uh, leave us a comment, let us know. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Always helps us out. We really appreciate it. And please hit the bell notification for updates. All right. Until next time. Take it easy. See ya. Centauri. <laughs>